everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where once again the uh, much vaunted cure as all the rest is not actually a cure. Uh, it didn't work, well at least it didn't work out. If you want to say cure as in we can remove the parasite from you, it certainly was. But my, my money's on the fact that it would have killed us if we had removed it. Uh, the voice inside my head slash aka the uh, artifact uh, told me I need to steal these Mind Flayer Parasites. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna maybe have uh, Shadowheart go ahead and try? I don't know, I'm not using them is the thing. So, you know what? No, voice in my head. I don't want to steal the Mind Flayer Parasites. But then again, I'm like, uh, oh, maybe we could study them. I don't want, I don't want them really, though. But I feel like it would be bad to not grab them. I have to contemplate. <laughs> I don't want them, and I don't think my character wants them. But there are people in my squad who might want them. And if anybody was like, hey, can I have a parasite? I'm going to be like, it's your body. Do with it what you want. You know what I mean? That approach has gotten me in trouble in the past. For a while there, I was in this very radical phase. It was very short. This radical phase of everybody can do whatever they want. Like, I, it was during Dragon Age 2, and I let Fenris, uh, spoilers for Dragon Age 2, it's a really, it's over 10 years old. Uh, I let, at one point, not in my canon playthrough, but in one of my playthroughs, I let Fenris kill his sister because he wanted to, because he was angry with her, and then it turned into this whole thing where I felt incredibly guilty because then he, like, regrets it, and I was just, like, like I got it, like, that's, that's why I would prevent people from doing stuff like that, like, killing people in the heat of the moment, right, like, even though they might deserve it, the person doing the killing doesn't deserve to have that blood on their hands, you know what I mean, especially when it comes, like, a sibling or, like, a relative or some, or somebody close to you you know um so i was always like no like i don't want you to be that person who kills somebody and like then regrets it but i was like you know what he's been through a lot like he he wants to do this and i'm like and he it's his it's his family it's his life it's his call to make and then i went to it and i was like like i was like oh my gosh and my friend was like that's the point of friends is to like say hey maybe this isn't a good idea and i was like because i felt so bad because i've mentioned it before but then i felt like i twisted it into me because I was romancing him at the time too so it felt like I made it so that he, he could only rely on me and it just felt like this really unintentionally twisted like <laughs> manipulative relationship and I was like eh. anyway so sometimes I think I get into the like radical uh free like free spirit almost I guess kind of thing where I'm like, it's your life, do what you want, it's your body, do what you want. But that is that is what friends are for, is to say, hey, maybe that's not a good idea, you know? <laughs> maybe we chill out with the shoving brain worms into our brains. Um, but I do worry that interesting. potentially in the future, if we need to analyze one, I don't, we, we can't pull the ones out in our heads. So, um, so we'll just have to, uh, a parasite. oh. Take it. It might be useful. It, well, yeah, but I don't want it. This would be nice if you were the person who was shoving worms Never in your comes. brain. I'm ready. Oh, nope. We are not going to be taking that one. Uh, my reading. necromancer that I'm Despite playing with everything. my friend definitely is uh, the type to shove the worms in his brain. Uh, let me... No, let me do a quick save here. I want to look at the infirmary records. I don't think I Bye am allowed to. I wonder if I could like stick I'm ready. Shadow Heart into this corner over here. Let's keep your hands to yourself. Okay. You're being well, watched. I'm not trying to steal anything, but I did move it in an effort to make it so that I can stick her in the corner. Oh, you are. She is right here. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> she, <laughs> she picked it up. What? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hang on, wait. I think the woman is. Yes, she is turned around right now. Have to keep low. Oh, come on, I can't. I mean, I could theoretically steal the. 
A mind flare. Oh, there we go. A list of Githyanki names and the treatment they received in the infirmary. It is written in the common town and the name Varl comes up 47 times. Savash Kethek, far be it for me to tell you how to do your job, but may I suggest you something about Varl? He's a drain on resource, not to mention interrupting my research, and I'd like to go at least two days without seeing him again. Was Varl the boy who, um... Got... That, that gate, like, the one that's kind of worshipping Orpheus. Okay, well, we've read that. Still alive, so that's progress. And I'm not gonna steal that parasite. My Honestly, I think she'd notice super fast, and she'd be like, the, the woman, the healer woman, she'd be like, hey, those, those parasites went missing after those people came into my room, you know? Um, uh, finding the source of the parasite. Eager to inform the Inquisitor. Oh, this is gonna go so poorly, but we've gotta do it. We've gotta do it. I don't know. Curse to put my hands on everything. A hatchery! Oh! I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very least. Hatchery. For the eggs. What if we steal... What if we steal an egg for ourselves? What do you think? I'm not going to do that. Acid! They are in... They are in acid baths. Wow. I should speak up. Oh, good. Is stick up permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. I mean, nobody told Step me. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. Oh, there's more out there. You could point out the trash. I thought a hatchery would have more eggs. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Vash Koku, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Vash if you wish, but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Listen, I already took care of the egg situation. Who, why are we all failing on investigations here? Okay. Difficulty class 15. We're, we just suck, apparently. Um, I would like to go talk, but apparently we're going to have to hop, skip, and a jump through. Perception failed. Cool. Oh, wait. It's probably this fog stuff. A trap. Time to dance. Everyone jump carefully. We're just perception failing all over the place. Are these, like, acid pools? That's incredible. Oh, okay. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let's enter turn-based mode and try to get past it. Whoa. Step carefully. There's a trap. Um, yeah, step carefully. There's a trap. Um, I thought I... What's cooking? I don't understand what happened there, but all right. If you insist. I thought we were bypassing it. Blackets will be done. No time to dummy. Need to keep going. Okay. No one back home will ever believe this. Should mind my step. How many traps? It looks like a trap. Well, Wilson, we're not going down there. Don't you want to fight with your brothers and sisters? I would be encumbered. <laughs> Just you walk over there and yoink the egg and fight my way out of the entire place. You can tell Kithrak Therazin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Um... I came here to steal an egg! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so curious. I, I have, I have a chaotic... 
character and me and my friend are playing a somewhat chaotic game and I'm I'm really curious what's gonna happen when I do some of these maybe <laughs> um, you mistook me for someone who were you expecting someone with orders from our commander to destroy this no egg. almost all of the eggs in this clutch have hatched we await only one more which is taking its time Failure at the first hurdle of existence. Most caretakers would crush it and be done. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the Ooh. hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Interesting. I am curious. Also, do they have like a? They have to have like a parentage, like li like a lineage genealogy. You know, like 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 they have to be keeping track of this stuff. Um, like who like who's parenting the eggs? And I'm curious how they go about that. Right? Is it like the Salarians when Mass Effect, where like there's very few? Uh, what is it? There's very few females, but the females are the ones in political powers, and then in political power, and then the males. Like there was this whole thing about like, like your your family name is this like gargantuan thing and like twenty names long, and it like keeps track of like your entire lineage, and like it's it's very carefully like sp they spend years, you know, working out contracts on like how and which eggs to fertilize between which clans and like you know what i mean it's a whole thing it's really interesting um and the whole thing is is uh, like if yankee do like solarian look a little more amphibianish you know and it's like okay eggs makes sense get yankee i would not have expected they don't look like egg layers somehow and i'm like not that there's like really a look for that but like i'm like do you just pop an egg out like and who does that? Is it like, did people take, do the, do the, is it the females? And it seems like the males maybe are, and like, it could just be non-gender, whatever. Like, it, but in this case, the guy's a male, the caretaker's a male. Is it kind of like, what is it? Um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Seahorses, <laughs> right? Or like the female, like, like the male and the female, like fertilize the egg, but then the female gives them to the male and he's the one who has to hatch them. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's fascinating, fascinating stuff. <laughs> um... Why do you care so much about one dud egg? Yeah, I am. The Githyanki are hard to talk to. You gotta I'm using everything I've got at my disposal. <laughs> yes. Oh. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. Ah. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool. If it wasn't for the vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Some some compassion. And still, you know, his his thing is still, don't you want to fight with your siblings, you know? Like like fight like in 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 battles like with them, right? Like not against them necessarily, but like you wanna go fight with your siblings and he's being quite kind for a Githyanki. Oh my gosh. Is this how I get a Githyanki egg? Like I just get it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I already Gave that woman an owlbear egg. <laughs> I would not give her a Gith Yankee egg anyway. Okay, now it's time for me to adopt a Gith Yankee child. This is, I have, I have no idea this is gonna work out. Um, sure, you know what? I don't know. Like a part of me is like, oh, I hope it works out for you. I don't wanna get involved, but obviously this is a game, so like things are gonna happen. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a... Oh, baby. I don't think I have any re-roll potential either. Oh, Dang it. No. The child will be safer with me. I know what it needs. This is my duty. I will protect it. Fighting a battle already. I might... Now I gotta think. I know it's kind of cheating to like 
<laughs> Save scum. Not cheating. I don't know. It's like, oh, well, play it out. See how it goes. It Obviously, there's interesting routes for things to happen. Like, if something doesn't happen or it does happen. Like, the Larian has done a good job of, like, balancing those out, you know? At least as far as I know. Um, but I want to know what happens if I can get a Githyanki egg. <laughs> so, gosh dang it. Or, you know, maybe I could have... I could have maybe had Carlac try. That is true. I don't necessarily have to reload, but sometimes I. Not all that arrived late are weak. I feel like um. They almost drowned. Some. This one deserves the same chance. Some conversations you can't really redo. I think is kind of the impression I'm getting. Like redo, as in like have somebody else try to do it in the same moment. All right, let me see. Okay, this time we got it. All right. You. What do you know about Gith Yankee? Child, I don't know if it's really? a good idea, but still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now, and if she sees it here, tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? This is wild too that he's even considering this. Honestly, like I did, I honestly would not have expected him to do that. And like the idea of like, my character's face is like, eh. <laughs> like the idea of like a, a, an istic raising a Gith Yankee has to be a very Odd and I'm like, how would what am I actually gonna adopt like a get Yankee child or like, or maybe I could give it to if I meet. I guarantee you, I'm gonna meet the other get Yankee like uh, divide like the other side of like their their I don't know the word not culture war is not what I am going for, but it keeps popping into my head. Um, the other side of the divide, right? The Gizani or something. Maybe I'll meet some of them and I could give them that egg. Uh. I'll make the best omelet you've ever tasted. Oh my god. How much do you think these things sell for? I'll find another crush? I think that's what I'd rather do. I don't really want to raise a Githyanki child. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I was gonna say I'll give it to Lazelle, but I don't know. Does she want a kid? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'll find another crush one that's more forgiving. Do you think the Sword Coast is littered oh. with crushes? That you found this one was unlikely enough. But... You have a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. <laughs> Perhaps even... <laughs> She's like, oh, thank you. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Could you not just give it to me? Not even just give me the egg! I don't want to go down and get it. What did he give me? Acidic surfaces don't affect you when you are resistant to acid damage. I'm gonna let Lazelle go pick it up. You go get it, Lazelle. It's it's your your people egg. Ooh, should I? I'm the one who said I would take care of it. It's my responsibility. I will go get the egg. Let's level up Carlac first. I can't just shut. Like, look, it's one of your species. It's like if an alien handed me a human baby, and I was like, "Look, a human baby." I'm like, I didn't ask for that. I don't want that. Why are you giving that to me? Uh, da -da -da -da. I like, I like their feet. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm very torn on this feet. I'm not. I'm not a min maxer. I don't know. Enough probably about D and D to be like, oh yeah, I know. I was gonna maybe do weapon master because it gives you a strength and dexterity increase of one, and I know that trying to make the numbers even, right, is good. Um, so like strength, dex, and con for her. I'm like, ooh, dang, like it would be good to get the plus one on that. Um, so wep or weapon master would have let her get proficiency with four weapons and then a strength or dexterity increase. And I was thinking about dex because that's she uses cloth armor, so it's like. You know, your dexterity is your armor modifier. And I was like, in that in that instance, right? So I was like, uh. Um, but. Also, she's a barbarian, so strength and constitution are like her things, you know? And that you kind of put a, put your points into. And that would give her an 18 in both if I... Or sorry, no. I switched from weapon... I tried to do weapon master, but for some reason it wouldn't let me... I cannot select any of these. I can't... I have select feet passives. I can't be proficient in any of these. Uh, so I was like, okay, never mind. I have been eyeing Savage Attacker just because it's freaking easier. 
When making melee weapons attacks, your damage dice, you, you roll the damage dice twice and use the highest result, which I feel like would be helpful for her. But I'm kind of wondering if ability improvement isn't just a good one to give everybody overall. Kind of, I mean, we're kind of in the beginning. I don't know. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> I think I'll give her the ability improvement. It is, it's kind of boring, but it really is, especially since she has three, like, that are important to her that are kind of in the middle of where they could be and just takes one more point to level them up. I think if I give her another point at some point, I'll try to give her a dexterity one, just because, like, I know, like, our, she's a barbarian, so she doesn't really need to worry about armor too much, but it'd be nice to give her an extra little, little bit of armor, so I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're doing it. Um, and look how much health she has. Holy moly. Um, so I think I can just... I mean, he's like, oh, freaking, it's so you can get around. And I'm like, oh, yeah, but... I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very least. Um, but I can just kind of jump over. Fighting a battle already. Oh, well, hang on. <laughs> Apparently I am overburdened. Okay, apparently this Githyanki egg is heavy. I had to put away, I had to give away two weapons. Come on, A large green egg with an uneven oh, shell. Oh boy. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Crush the egg, oh my gosh. I'm gonna touch it. The egg is warm to the touch. The rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring. So it's, it's alive. Slightly. It's in there. It's, it's alive. Pick it up gingerly and stow it in my pack. I, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I surely don't need... <clears throat> Uh, I'm surely gonna get out with a giant Githyanki egg in my pack. Also, the, the eggs better not pop out that big, because there is no way. Unless they have somebody else entire, like some queen entity. Some queen-like entity that pushes out eggs as its sole job. Uh, there is no way the tiny Gith could push out something that big. That is just too big. Um... You've caught the egg, haven't you? Be on your way then. Before I change my mind. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around with the Githyanki. Lazelle, I have a Githyanki egg. To the Inquisitor at the crash. The Sathisk's failure must be reported. I can't believe she is not, like, totally ripping me a new one. Uh. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh. I had through the single egg. How many does a clutch usually contain? Khalil's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of crashes that harbored a hundred. Ye oh my gosh, look at this. Githyanki look quite humanoid. How did you evolve to lay eggs? Thank you. Humanoid. How I despise It's true, it's true. Githyanki are quite superior to Maybe humans. Maybe we're Githyankioid. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped to lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process, a favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Wouldn't that just be the worst? Oh, crazy. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that was so tongue in cheek, it almost bit it off. Um, who does the lit? Yes, thank you. I'm curious about the logistics. I am. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. Are they... The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. I need I need more who are they like are they like different looking are they like do they want to lay eggs because there's some really interesting like sci-fi ish books I've been reading recently about like the idea of um, 
And Mad Max kind of does it too, right? At least the I watch uh, Mad Max like Fury Road, right? Where it's like some women are forced to give birth. Like this is their job. There's a couple that have come out like recent sci-fi books where it talks. I haven't read them all like yet, but they talk about like the idea of like being a warrior versus being like a, a what are you like a not a nursemaid like a baby carrier i don't know what it is and in some in some it's like a it's like a sign of respect you know but in uh like it's like a oh my gosh like you create life it's this crazy thing but in others it's like this form of power but like is an unpleasant experience like like a thing about like the women are in power but they still have to like sleep with undesirable men because sleeping with the women will kill them and but it's like it's it's a really like I started reading it and I actually kind of stopped reading it because it was like I was like oh wow this is really it. it's, it's about like like keeping this bloodline going so that the power structures stay the same and like what do you do like you know how do you respond to that you know when you're a part of that and you despise it and you're afraid of it because even like having a child is still like a very fraught thing in that book you know and it's one of the deadliest things women can do or like I don't know like female bodies or however you want to say it right where it's like the, the capability of that is one of the most dangerous things that anybody can go through. And so it's just like, uh, so it was interesting, like watch, like reading a little bit about like the power differential structure. And there's another book that I looked at where it was like uh, the woman had spent time being like learned training and training and training to be a warrior. And it's all she ever wanted to be. And then she was slated all of a sudden to be a birth mother. And that was all she was going to do was have babies. And she didn't want that. Right. Like, and it's just interesting seeing these new books coming out, talking about some of them about like sort of like the horrors of having or like like complications and the horrors of pregnancy and like the power structures that are like involved and anyway that was a tangent i apologize <laughs> but like um it's just it, it was just i just thought of it with the way that she said that where it was like mm, yeah big old bombastic side eye it's a current you know real life <laughs> stuff um, Go on, then. let's see Crash training room was illuminating. Our gift instructor is always so brutal. My own Savage would never have threatened a young. Oh, man. okay. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their eyes. Oh, ranks. good. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kaleer had a hundred times circled to rail. Um. That's awful. Is life not precious to the Gith Yankee? Not every life is equal. Ah. Uh. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. Their lives were not precious. They were a blight that required expunging. My, my the Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. So, Sparta. Sparta. From what I know of Sparta, they did a lot of um, exposures of babies that they thought were going to be weak. Ask Lizelle about the disc from the crash. Your mind connects with Lizelle's, and together you envision the Githyanki disc. Another part of the Orpheus tale. This one has been translated to common. Tell me. Fine. The prince Isn't of it the comet, part two. Illegal for her to say it, even? The prince of the comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him. Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, Sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Flacketh. But the true heir, the prince of the comet, could not overcome Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms. Mighty Voss, Gestil Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. Hmm. True heir, glorious prince, Chuck. There's no greater crime than to exalt the pretender called Orpheus. 
Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for me in camp. All right. I think it's good to have her How read it too. Can I go? Because uh, I'm hoping we will eventually, you know, have a moment where it's like, hey, maybe we should talk about this, you know, or, or she's going to be able to, having read them herself, she will know sort of um, the basis. Like, she's probably never read the Orpheus legends, right? So it's going to help her when I think, because eventually she's going to have to question things, right? Like, we are getting to the point, I think, where she is going to have to start questioning things. An analysis of the rigorous institutions that uh, often keep us in their clutches. And we are working our way over here. Okay. It is interesting that they haven't done more to make the place more... Oh, hey! Look at this. More Git Yankee looking. I hope that... That kid's probably gonna die. I don't think that kid's gonna live. The one that showed kindness and liked Orpheus. Uh, save again. Okay, yeah, the Inquisitor is further, but this might be the captain. Oh, the quarter mistress. Like, she looks like a captain, but she's a quarter mistress, apparently. Hello? Mm, I want to have a word. Ugh. Blood, what? Rust? Squaw? Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. I guarantee you my stuff's all spotless. <laughs> there must be something worthwhile on this plane or your kind wouldn't be here. Most metals here fold like istics, much like istics themselves. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. Hmm, man. Well, I don't know if I have any... Don't burn yourself wares yet but i have so much stuff i am so overburdened holy moly knife of the under mountain king that looks cool organ rearranger reduce the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking by one this effect can stack when you roll two damage or less reroll the dice taking the highest result you have advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured targets when using this blade Snatched from the realm of the mad wizard Halstar Black Cloak, the knife became a prized keepsake of a Durgar king. A knife. Very rare. I am buying the blade and the gloves, because those seem really cool, honestly. On your way, then. And I'm going to, for now, give the gloves to Carlac. I think the blade would be really cool. I don't have anybody right now that uses daggers. Oh, no, it's a short sword. Oh. I just realized I, I gave Shadowheart a short sword, but she's apparently not proficient in sword shorts. Is she proficient in... Oh, she is. All right. Well, okay. She gets the... I just gave her that earlier. It's not as good. That's okay. She's not a damage dealer. Okay, well, at least she has this mace now. All right, well, I got this super cool short sword thinking it was a dagger because I'm illiterate. And I was going to give it to Asterion, but now I'm like, dang. Uh, <laughs> I don't Maybe he still can do it. It's a light finesse weapon. He could maybe use it. I don't know. I've got it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I have no idea how long this one is, All right. but, um... What now? We... No, yeah, I think we'll call it here, and I will explore around further. 
in the next part. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.